They yeah. have invented moves. Yeah. AI has invented moves that have now been implemented by humans. Right. In a, in a very complex game that they never thought that AI was going to be able to be because it requires so much creativity. Right. Uh, art, though, we're not quite there, but we will be there. Uh, and by 2029, uh, it will match any person. That's it? 2029? That's just a few years away. This, yeah, well, I'm actually considered conservative. People think that will happen like next year or the year after. But. Will the rise of AI be the fall of humans? And could AI ever replace humans? These were some of the questions I had in mind when I heard the statements of AI experts on the matter, because these experts, their statements are concerning, to say the least. The predictions people are making about upcoming developments of AI will blow your mind. And if sci-fi movies like 2001 A Space Odyssey and Terminator are any indication, those developments aren't gonna end well for us. But let's first find out how exactly AI could outsmart humans by 2029, and if this will change the world as we see it. The idea of AI being smarter than humans has been around for quite a while now. This idea was cemented with the dawn of ChatGPT, which was way smarter than any human when it came to processing information. However, AI still has a long way to go when it comes to actual human intelligence. But as it turns out, this long way is actually no more than a handful of years, because according to some predictions, AI could be much smarter than humans by 2029. The prediction is also fueled by the fact that big companies like Meta, Google and Amazon to name a few are now throwing themselves into that rat race of making their own AI language models. And Microsoft, well they're so caught up in that race that they've not only launched their own AI tool, but they've also invested in a whole load of other tools, including ChatGPT. Basically they're stacking the board and someone could see this as them trying to build a monopoly in the market because whoever controls the AI tools well, they could control the world in the near future. Elon Musk, the Tesla CEO, who's also building his own AI language model, recently said in an interview, AI will probably be smarter than any single human by next year. By 2029, AI will probably be smarter than all humans combined. Now, that's pretty scary. But Musk has also expressed his concern of how destructive this AI can be if it's not managed properly. I'm a little worried about the AI stuff. Um, I think it's uh, something, I don't know, which we should be concerned about. Uh, I don't know, I think we should need, need some kind of like regulatory authority or something that's overseeing AI development and just making sure that it's operating within the public interest and, you know, it's quite a dangerous, quite a dangerous technology. Just, you know, to make things even more scary. Plus, the famous futurist Ray Kurzweil also talked about the dangers of AI in the Joe Rogan show and predicted something that most people didn't see coming. They have yeah. invented moves. Yeah. AI has invented moves that have now been implemented by humans right. in, a, in a very complex game that they never thought that AI was going to be able to be because it requires so much creativity. Right. Uh, Art, though, we're not quite there, but we will be there. Uh, and by 2029, uh, it will match any person. That's it? 2029? That's just a few years away. This, yeah, well, I'm actually considered conservative. People think that will happen like next year or the year after. But. He even added, I'm actually considered conservative because people think that will happen next year, the year after. But I actually said in 1999, I said that we would match any person by 2029. Ray also added that when he predicted this, people thought he had lost his mind and even Stanford called hundreds of academics just to discuss the prediction. And surprise, surprise, all of them thought that AI will eventually be smarter than humans, but it won't be in the next three or four decades, or not at least by 2029. Ray also revealed how economists think that AI won't grow so swiftly and in a linear line, and he even pulled out a graph that left my jaw dropping. He further described the chart by explaining the computational growth over the coming years. And that's an absolute straight line for 80 years. Hmm. Uh, the very first point, uh, this is the speed of computers, it was 0 0.0000. .0000 zero, seven calculations per second per constant dollar. 
The last point is 35 billion calculations per second. So there's a 20 quadrillion fold increase in those 80 years. But the, the speed with which it, it gained is, is actually the same throughout the entire 80 years. Because if it was sometimes better and sometimes worse, this curve would, uh, would bend. It would bend up, bend down. It's really very much a straight line. So Ray thinks that AI has just as much potential to grow and it won't be long until it becomes smarter than all of humankind collectively. And this idea did give me, you know, shades of nightmares and scary jitters, but Ray does obviously have a point. Ray, he talks about hallucinations of AI, which is primarily a human trait. And it was quite discomforting to find out that even AI can hallucinate and make things up just to give us an answer. That's a good question. And if that, the answer to that question is not in the system, it still comes up with an answer. So it'll look at everything and give you its best answer. And if the, the best answer is not there, it still gives you an answer, but that's uh, considered a, a hallucination. And we know- A hallucination? That. Yeah, that's what it's called. Really? So, uh, AI uh, hallucination. So they cannot be wrong. They have to so be able far, to answer things. we're actually working on being able to tell if it doesn't know something. So if you ask it something and say, oh, I, I don't know that. Right now it can't do that. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So it, it, it gives you some answer. Um, and if the answer's not there, it just like makes something up. It's the best answer, but the best answer isn't very good because mm -hmm. it doesn't know the answer. And for the longest time, I thought AI couldn't lie but revealed again by Joe Rogan's podcast, something that has concerned not just me, but the entire tech world. He said, we had Sam Altman on, one of the things that he and I were talking about was that AI figured out a way to lie. They had used AI to go through a capture system and the AI told the system it was visually impaired, which is not technically a lie, but it used it to bypass the are you a robot. Now, this is just another proof of how fast AI is growing, becoming more intelligent by the day. And it's exactly what Elon Musk has been warning about for, for years, to be fair. He once said in an interview, what's happening is they're training AI to lie. It's bad. AI is more dangerous than, say, mismanaged aircraft design or production maintenance or bad car production in the sense that it has the potential. However small one may regard that probability, but it is non-trivial. It has the potential of civilization destruction. He also thinks that if AI is not properly regulated and companies are allowed to make whatever advancements they please, then it would be a doom for humanity. And I can't believe I'm saying this because on most things, I don't, I don't agree. But on this, on AI, I actually agree with Elon Musk. And I can't believe those words have actually just left my mouth. So far, there really are no regulations and companies like OpenAI, Google and Microsoft are all doing sorts of experiments with AI without understanding any of the repercussions potentially. Have we learnt nothing from science fiction movies? Uh, now, what happens when something uh, vastly smarter than the smartest person uh, comes along in silicon form? Uh, it's very difficult to predict what will happen in that circumstance. It's called the singularity. It's, you know, it's a singularity like a black hole because yeah. you, you don't know what happens after that. It's hard to predict. I don't want to live in a world with Hal controlling my heating or the Terminator just popping into this timeline. No, I'm not doing it. This concept of singularity is also given in Ray Kurzweil's book where he's expressed his desire to transcend biology and turn into an immortal cyborg. Now, Ray thinks that he will be living forever once he transfers his consciousness into a computer. He has even named his book, The Singularity is Near. I'm gonna be honest, I've never really felt like I'm in such a sci-fi plot. This could end up being the end of humans and we'd already be on the way there. This is the reason why Musk said in one of his interviews. So I think we should be cautious with uh, AI um, and we should, I think there should be some government oversight 
uh, because it affects the, it, it's a danger to the public. And he also later revealed, even if you say that AI doesn't have agency, well, it's very likely that people will use AI as a tool in elections. And then, you know, if AI is smart enough, are they using the tool or is the tool using them? So I think things are getting weird and they're getting weird fast. However, there's another AI expert who has a different opinion on the matter, a German computer scientist, Jürgen Schmiedhuber, who has worked on several AI projects and has said that AI won't be stuck in our biosphere and it will surpass human intelligence by 2050. He's bought us some time. Now, although Ray and Musk do think that it's gonna happen a little sooner than that, I personally believe, or maybe I'm just hoping, that we're not quite there yet. And it will ideally take 10 more years for AI to actually advance so much that it becomes more intelligent than all of collective humanity. However, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it happened sooner because a few years back, we were getting the worst and most obvious AI images and videos. But now they're so flawless that you can't really tell if it's real or AI generated. It's kind of one of those that you need to train your eye to sort of pick out, but even then some of them are just so convincing. And this just means that AI is advancing at a much faster pace than anyone ever expected. In fact, Futurizon's Ian Pearson also gave his two cents on how far AI can go, and he said, the fact is that AI can go further than humans. It could be billions of times smarter than humans at this point. So we really do need to make sure that we have some means of keeping up. He also added, which is a different sci-fi plot and another one that I'm I'm not here for. I'm not here for living in this sci-fi plot. He said, the way you protect against that is to link the AI to your brain so you have the same IQ as the computer. I don't actually think it's safe, just like Elon Musk, to develop these superhuman computers until we have a direct link to the human brain. And then we don't get way ahead. So all experts think that sooner or later AI will for sure be smarter than all the humans collectively. And no one seems to disagree with it, which means that an AI takeover the world could be inevitable. Majority of the scientists also think that eventually humans will have to merge with AI to sustain and survive in this world. But the concept of singularity hopefully won't be reached very soon because again, terrifying. Although I and almost all of the scientists think that AI, a technology created by humans, will outsmart all of humanity in a few years, and some scientists even think that will reach singularity in this century. So what do you think? Do you think the coming years are going to destroy our world? Or we'll begin anew and living in a glorious world inside artificially intelligent cyborgs? Well, whatever your opinions, tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thank you for watching.